Hi, my name is Shah Nawaz. In this lecture, we will discuss local compactness and one part in compactification. So we'll start with the definition. So a space X is said to be locally compact. locally compact at at a point say x uh, in x if uh, there exists some compact subspace compact subspace say a C of X that contains uh, a neighborhood of X that contains an open neighborhood of X. If X is locally compact at each of its points, then X is said to be locally compact. So if X is locally compact at each of its points, then X is called locally compact space. For example, R is locally compact. We know that R is not compact, but it is locally compact. Um, this is true because if we take uh, any, so since any X belongs to R, um, is contained in the neighborhood x minus delta x plus delta so this is the open interval where delta is positive and the open neighborhood which is contained in the compact subspace x minus delta and x plus delta of R. So similarly if we take the uh, another example, uh, I mean, if we take Q, then Q uh, is not the uh, is not locally compact space. So the subspace Q of R is not locally compact. The reason is that. Uh, for any rational, we don't have an open neighborhood which lies in Q. Now we have a theorem. So this states that let X be a subspace, let X be a sp space, let X be a space then x is locally compact the house drop then x is locally compact house drop if and only if there exists a space 
Why? Satisfying the following conditions. So the condition first is that x is a subspace of y. Second one is that the set uh, y minus x by y minus x we mean the complement of x in y. So this is same as y minus x. So the set y minus x is a single point set is a single point set and third one is that y is compact house drop space first of all we will prove that if such a space y exists then it has to be unique so prove well, first verify. We'll first show that if such a space Y exists, then it is unique. Now suppose there are two uh, such spaces y and y prime which satisfies these three conditions then we will prove the y and y prime are homeomorphic so suppose y and y prime be two spaces satisfying conditions one to three i mean these three conditions then why it uh, why is so suppose these there are two such spaces we'll prove y and y prime are homeomorphic so define h from y to y prime now the y space y is given that so here we have the set x so this is space y and here we have the space y prime and both contains x because we uh, assume this y and y prime they are subspaces of y so both contains x now we Assume that this y minus x is a single point. So suppose this is point P and y prime minus x is again a single point. So let us this is point. Suppose this is point Q. Now we define y to y prime uh, by. So we have this edge, a map here. So we define and this edge to be the IND map when it is restricted over x. So we define this map when we restrict this to x uh, that is identity of x so that means and h of p is q so here this means uh, this condition here means h of x is x for all x belongs to x in this condition i mean so this goes this portion goes identically to this portion and this point p goes point q by the map uh, h now let u be an open set in y so we'll first prove uh, this map h is 
uh, open map then by switching the rules of y and y prime h inverse will also be an open map and that will prove the h is a homeomorphism so first we'll prove h is uh, an open map so let u be an open set n uh, y now this u may sit inside x here or this u uh, may contain the point p as well so there are two cases so first so first suppose the point p is not in side u that is this u is wholly inside x and then h of u is uh, then h of u is u hence u is open in y So H of U is just U. So since U is so since U is contained in X, hence U is open in X. Hence U is open in X. With this particular subspace topology because u intersection x will be u but this x over here this is open in y prime but x is open in y prime uh, hence this u is open in y prime as well hence u is open in y prime also so in this case h is I, uh, an open map but we uh, have to take in the second case uh, in, i mean the second case is that this p um, may be the point inside u so we have to take this case uh, as well so second this is the second case second suppose p is inside u so now this p is like this so this so this u is like this now this u contains some elements of point of space subspace x and this u contains the point p as well so since if we take c to be the complement of u in y so now u being open in uh, y then the u complement will be closed in y so this is so this notation is just u complement so this is closed uh, in y and y being compact uh, um, implies that c is compact because a closer sub subset of a compact space is compact so implies that uh, c is a compact subspace a compact so since c is compact as a subspace 
also the c the c is contained inside x because if we take the complement of u which is uh, i mean this is this is u here then y minus u is c and y minus u is this portion over here so this portion lies entirely inside x so also c is contained in x and uh, x is a subspace of y prime therefore c is also compact therefore c is also compact subspace of y prime hence if i take the complement of c in y prime so this is an open set because c is closed mm, and this y prime is, is open in this is open set since uh, y prime is compact and hence uh, the reason is that uh, y prime is compact so c is closed there c is uh, compact there so it has to be closed sorry uh, i mean y prime is house drop since y prime is house drop and hence c is closed that is why this set over here this is open set in y it's open set in y prime so this is open in y prime but y prime minus c is same as h of u so hence h is, a, uh, h is an open map hence h is an open map now switching the rules of y and y prime switching the rules of y and y prime the map h inverse from y prime to y is also an open map also this h is bijective hence y and y prime are homeomorphic um, because this h is a homeomorphism hence h is a homeomorphism and therefore such a subspace such a subspace it exists is unique now we will prove the existence of such a subspace so we'll prove this in steps so we have step one here 
Mm, let us call this step two because we have already done step one over here. So let us call this step one. I mean. We call this step one here. Now in step two, we'll construct such a sub space Y. Now, now assume that X is locally compact house drop space so x is locally compact house drop space and we construct and construct y So, and we construct so we construct y as follows so step one use us an idea how to proceed so, so we now construct y as follows so let us take some object say let us take some object uh, that is not a point of x now let us you know this point y the symbol let us denote this point by the symbol say infinity and this is not the infinity of reals this is just a symbol here so one can take some different symbol and add join and add join uh, it to x so we just add join this symbol to x so let y be the set x add join it with the symbol in infinity now we topologize y by defining so topologize uh, now topologize y by defining the collection t of open sets of y So we are going to topologize y by defining the collection T of open source of y to consist. So this y may consist, uh, let us call this. So this may consist all the sets u that are open x. So because now we have this y given like this so this is y so this is the symbol n infinity here and this is the set x now this is our uh, space y now we uh, define the open set in y 
to be the collection of all sets u that are open next. So all sets u that are open in x. So these are the open sets of type A and type B are all uh, sets of the form y minus c, y, y is a compact subspace of x. So all sets of the form y minus c, while c is a compact subspace of x now these open sets they will not cover in the symbol infinity however the open sets of type b they will cover this infinity now we have to show this collection indeed it defines a topology on y so the collection T uh, is in fact a topology on Y because if we look at the empty set, the empty set. Is a set of type A and the space Y is an open set. This is also open. So this is an open set of type B. So both are the elements of this collection T. So this T satisfies the first action for being a topology. So this is a type B, and so they are both the elements of T. Now, to show this T is closed under finite intersections, it suffices to prove the intersection of any two elements of T is an element of T. So we show, we now show the intersection of any two elements in T is an element in T and then the induction uh, will follow that this T is closed under finite intersections because if we prove for two elements. Now uh, to pick two elements there are three cases. Case one is that both the elements are, uh, are of type one. Case two is that both the elements are, uh, are of type um, B and finally the case third is when one element is of type A and other is of type B. So this involves three cases. So if uh, both the elements of type 1 we have so u1 intersection u2 so u1 is open next u2 is open next uh, so this is an open set in t 
of type A. Now let us take both open sets to be of type B. So y minus c1 intersection y minus c2 this is open in t this is open in t now we have to check uh, their intersection now their intersection is y minus uh, c1 and c2 so this is actually c1 complement union c2 complement by d morgan this is same as uh, sorry, this is C1 complement, intersection C2 complement. By D Morgan, this is same as C1 union C2 complement, which is same as Y minus C1 union C2. So now C1 union C2 being closed because uh, finite union of closures is closed. So C1 union C2 is closed. Hence, this is open. So this is also an open set of type B finally finally if we take an open set of type A and an open set of type B then the intersection will be so finally U intersection Y minus C is actually called u intersection x minus c so since c is uh, closed in x therefore this is open in x and hence u intersection uh, a set which is open in x is open in x so since so this is an open set of of type a since c is closed in x since c is closed in x now that means it satisfies the third axiom of uh, being uh, a topology finally we had to prove it satisfies the axiom second as well that is this t is closed under uh, arbitrary unions so now it remains to prove that t is closed under arbitrary unions which also involves the three cases which also involves three cases so first of all arbitrary union of open status in x is so this is u so this is an open set of type a hence this is an element of t fancy t now let us take the arbitrary union of element of type b so that is we have this arbitrary union of these open sets y minus c beta this is same as by d morgan law this is same as y minus intersection of c beta where this beta is in some index set now since in the arbitrary uh, intersection of closed sets is closed so this is closed in uh, y hence this is uh, let us call this c so this is y minus c so this is an open set 
of type B. So hence uh, again an element of uh, fancy D. And finally let us take an uh, arbitrary union of elements of type A and their union with arbitrary union of elements of type B. So this will be the union of um, so this is, will be the arbitrary union of uh, so this will be u so this will be u union where u is this thing so this is u union and this is same as this thing so this is same as y minus u so we replace this um, rotation by y minus c and this here by u so this is same as uh, y minus c minus u uh, which is of type Two because C minus U is a closed subspace of C, which is an open set of type B, since uh, C minus U is a closed is a closed subspace of C and therefore uh, compact because C is uh, compact. Now we show that this X is a subspace of Y. So now we show that X is a subspace of uh, Y. So given any open set in Y, we show it is intersection with X is open in X. So given any open set uh, in Y, we show it is intersection with X is open X. So let U be an open set in Y. of type A and then since U is open set in Y of type A that means U is contained in X so hence U intersection X is just U which is open in U which is which is Uh, which is open in X. Now let us take this U to be of type 2. So if y minus c is um, an open is open in y of type b uh, then it is intersection with x is 
then y minus c intersection x is just x intersection x minus c which is again open in x and c is closed in x which is open in x since the c is closed in x so conversely we have to prove any open set of x is of type a uh, of type a so we, uh, we uh, i mean so conversely any open set in x is of type a and therefore uh, open in y so this proves that this x is a subspace of y now we prove y is compact so to show y is compact let this fancy a b and open um, covering of y so the collection a must contain an open set of type b because this a has to cover the symbol infinity as well so the collection a must contain an open set of type b say y minus c now this y minus c will cover uh, infinity so since the reason is that since none of the open sets since none of the open sets contains the point of type 1 of type a contains the symbol infinity now take all the members of fancy a different from y minus c so take all the members of fancy a different from So different from y minus c and let us intersect these members with x and intersect them with x so we just get an open covering of c no oh, sorry of x so <clears throat> they form they form a collection of open sets of x so they will form this collection so they will form a collection of open set of, of, set of x covering c because c so they form an open collection of open source of x covering 
uh, C because C is compact finally finally many of them will cover C so because C is compact finitely many of them will cover uh, C and the corresponding finite collection and the corresponding finite collection of elements of A along with y minus c cover all of y hence y is compact so this proves <coughs> the condition second so <coughs> before that we prove the condition first now um, i mean this proves the condition third and um, that y is compact now it remains to prove y is house drop now to show y is house drop uh, let x and y be two elements of y two distinct elements of y so if x and y are both in y then uh, x being a uh, house drop there uh, exists this is, uh, distinct open sets so if x and y belongs to x then x being house drop there exists open sets u and v containing them respectively so in this case y will satisfy the house drop condition now uh, there is this chance that uh, one of the elements uh, say y is equal to infinity so on the other hand on the other hand if x belongs to x and y is infinity then x being locally compact there exists a compact uh, subspace c in x uh, containing Uh, and open neighborhood u of x then u and y minus c are the open sets or the disjoint open sets because they are disjoint because u is inside c and this y minus c is open and this is the mm, complement of y so our disjoint open sets uh, in x so in y mm, 
of the disjoint open surface in Y containing X and infinity respectively. So this shows that uh, uh, Y is house drop. So hence Y is house drop. Now we will assume that Y uh, satisfies the conditions one to three, and we will prove X is locally compact house drop space. So this we will prove in step third. So conversely, suppose there exists a sub there exists a space Y satisfying conditions. one to three so so this place conditions one to three then we'll prove uh, the space x is compact uh, and uh, locally compact and house drop so the compactness is easy so um, i mean the house drop this is easy so then x is uh, house drop because x is a subspace of y and y is given to be house drop then x is house drop because it is a subspace of a house drop space y now it remains to prove it is locally compact. Now, to prove y is sorry, x is locally compact, choose x belongs to x. Now, y being house drop, uh, now y being house drop, we can choose the open status u and v in y containing x and the single point y minus x. So we can choose the disjoint open sets u and v containing x and the single point y minus x because the condition second says this set is a single point set so u and v contain them respectively let us suppose c is equal to the set y minus v then c is closed in y Since y is compact. Because compact subspace uh, closed, I mean the compact subspace of a house drop space is closed. Y is given to be house drop and C is a compact subspace of Y, therefore C is closed. Uh, since y is compact and uh, house drop now since c lies in x it is also compact space of x since 
c is inside x c is uh, also a compact subspace of x now one can note that and uh, this u and v are disjoint hence y minus v which is c c must contain the uh, open set u as well so but c contains the neighborhood u of x since u and v are disjoint so hence x is lo locally compact so this proves the theorem now there is the definition of one point compactification so it says that if y is a compact house drop space and x is a proper subspace of y proper subspace of y such that the closure of x is same as y then y is called the compactification of x then y is called the compactification of x now if y minus x is singleton so if y minus x is a single point set then y is called the one point compactification of x